Hey, yo, it's your boy Clue World, and I want to welcome to you. Still, <laughs> hey, yo, it's your boy Clue World, and welcome to this level. Oh, shit, damn it. I ain't did this shit in a minute. Hold on, I got it. Y'all niggas can't laugh. Hold on, I got this shit. I got it. All right, ready. Hold on. Hey, yo, it's your boy Clue World, and I want to welcome you to this level. To the oh, shit. Okay, got it. All right, for sure. All right, I got this. I got it. I got it. Hey, yo, it's your boy Clue World, and welcome to Levels to this podcast. And I'm your host. I'm welcome. Ah, shit. This is gonna be great. I don't care. Hey, check this out. This is Levels to this podcast. I'm your host, Clue World, and I want to welcome you to the best podcast in the world where we get down to the nitty gritty. Now, I'm just playing. I'm just out here with my boys. We live in our lives. I'm out here just. I just wanted to create a platform where everybody could really just explain the level that they on. We can get knowledge. We can experience some amazing stories on the way. And everybody could really just understand why we do what we do, how we do what we do. And um, that God is the purpose in which we are able to do all the things we do. And today on this special episode, I get to bring on two of my bros. And when I tell you these guys are characters, so you're in for a treat. Um, And when I tell you these guys definitely have my heart, I take a bullet for these guys. Hopefully nobody ever shoots at any of us. No pun intended. They've already tried, but devil, you lost that battle. So you already know what it is. But with that being said, I want to introduce my bro, Trey. Let me tell y'all about this man. This man right here is an entrepreneur in regards to music, clothing. He's my fashion um, icon. He don't know it. And then I got my gangster. I call him, I'm not gonna say his name, but uh, we call him LJ. He is the uh, mayor um, of Los Angeles in the music community. And he's the nicest guy until you make him mad. Welcome to the show. Treyway and LJ. What it do? Hey, Treyway and LJ sound like a song. <laughs> <laughs> it do. It's the Treyway LJ show. <laughs> <laughs> That's next. Brought to you by Three King. Coming up next. Brought to you by Three King. Wow. Hey. We good. We outside. Yeah, we finally we outside. outside. Nigga, if they would have saw the blueprint, I ain't gonna break a up. Think it was struggling for real. <laughs> this ain't easy. Chose no. violence from the top, bro. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I can't stand you guys at all. No, we but we definitely, we definitely grateful to be here, bro. Come on. Indeed, man. Yeah. It's been a long time. I will tell y'all this: this podcast stuff ain't for the week. I've been trying to get these two busy cannons on this podcast for like months now i think lj you was supposed to be in august trey you was supposed to be in september we in december right now but you know what it's christmas we time we here it's the gift it's, it's, the, gift. Time, bro. it's, time, <laughs> it's the season to be jolly wow it's the <laughs> season yo <laughs> big time nah, but bro, we here, bro since y'all here i'm gonna start with i'm gonna go back and forth i'm gonna start with trey trey i want you to let them know who you are um you know you ain't got to tell them where they seen you at and all that type of stuff but just introduce them to who you are and then lj we're gonna go to you and trey don't forget every element that you do because you ain't a one-trick pony neither is lj either pony pony my my little pony is bob This is going to be a long episode, y'all. Just get ready. Nah, man, for real, though. Uh, <laughs> Bernard Treyway Lambert from North Philadelphia, born and raised. Um, I'm a two-time Grammy award winning. Just got nominated for another Grammy. Played on uh, an amazing album with Diana Ross, and it just got nominated. So, um, yeah, man, uh, I'm from North Philly, man. I'm a church boy at heart. I'm a PK. Um, I come from a place where... They say you're really not going to make it out. And I'm just grateful to God that I was able to make it out. I play for some of your favorite rappers, um, pop artists, gospel artists, 
local artists. And, you know, I have my own brand on the one, which I'm wearing right now, you know. And um, I started that back in 2012. And it started from just me wanting to, you know, just let my voice be heard without me having to flex. You know, it's just a, a, a word without, you know, a word without saying. And basically right. on the one means to to stay focused on your goals and your dreams and don't let nobody stop you from accomplishing that and that's being on beat and that's staying focused on the one and from that i started the clothing line i have my own radio show i have my own television network i have my own uh, mentoring program um also i have my own band called trayway in the now generation and yeah. about to drop some new music about to drop an album and yeah that's what it is man i, I have a lot that's that's happening and I'm just grateful to just be here with my brother, man, one of the world's greatest. And just letting everybody know, man, that we've got all things are possible. Man. Let's get it. Man, that shit was tight. That was tight. That boy rehearsed that one. <laughs> I got that one. I got that one. LJ, you got a lot to come behind, bro. You better make Yo, it good. Crazy. Now, honestly, that was lit, bro. It's like, you know, honestly, with all of us, like, we all brothers, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you were saying in the intro, it's like, yeah. At the same time, we all do this cool ass shit, but at the same time, it's like, nigga, we from the Trump, the Trumps, nigga, you know? Big and time. Like, nigga, that's tight. I didn't even know you had all that going, bro. That's hard. Thanks, bro. You know? That's hard. That's lit. Nigga, that's inspiring. <laughs> My dog. Train, train to be played with. You know what I'm saying? Your boy. <laughs> I'm doing this for us, man. Nah, real talk. So ain't, that man, part. That's hard. LJ, yeah. explain. <laughs> Your method to the madness. Man, my method to the madness is just be a real nigga, bro. Well, God first. <laughs> <laughs> That's real, though, bro. Straight up. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if I was if, if I was to give myself my own introduction, first, I'm never going to tell niggas my government name. So my name is LJ. <laughs> I, you, you see, I had to stop myself because I almost did, but I said, nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna do it because I love this nigga too much. Nope. Mm -mm. Nah, that's lit. Nah, I'm LJ, man. I'm from Compton, man. Now I'm Bompton, man. You know, I'm just outside, just man. I'm trying to inspire the world, bro. Same like Trey, just like got all this. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna get with you too, Trey, because I'm thinking about starting the clothing line. Called Pull up. Let's do it. I want to start a clothing line that called that's accountability. I've been thinking about it, but I feel like you just my confirmation right now. Mm. But uh, yeah, I play same play music. <laughs> with a bunch of people you probably know. You know, I'm a dad first. I love kids. You know what I mean? I play at church from the slums too. We just out here just really trying to just show everybody how to do it because it's out there for us all, man. You just gotta go get it. You know what I'm saying? Big time. Yep. But yeah, I'm, I'm bro, I'm glad to have you I'm glad to have y'all here. Because it's like for me, like I pull inspiration for every from everybody, but you two individuals no no not just because y'all here lj you've always been somebody that i've always looked up to even though i never mentioned it a lot because i know where you came from i remember coming to la and the first time i seen lj he was playing keys and i mean your son was a baby you know what i'm saying like i was just getting introduced to la i'm like this man playing keys just to find out oh that's not his that's not his main instrument he really you really start off as a drummer now to know that you're everybody's bass player producer gangster production manager doing playback all that type of stuff and then we built the business together then you got trey the first time you see trey is you're like who the hell is this kid terrorizing these drums like this with one of the top gospel artists in 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 the industry right now Trey, you really came from nowhere, bro. Well, for us on the West Coast, you came from I nowhere. You. That's crazy. Damn. Because all we knew was Spanky. And yeah. when when yeah. Spanky, when when we didn't see Spanky no more, we're like, who can who can do that? And yeah. the craziest thing is you didn't even do that. You made your whole you you made us have to respect that ain't Spanky. That's okay. Trey. Period. Wow. Everybody can't say that. But yeah. you yeah, nigga, you could say that for sure. Thank you. I can vouch, nigga. That's a that's a real West Coast perspective, nigga. Wow. Like it was like you know, it's like one of those you like one of those guys where like you hear about him, and you, you know, I'm like, oh, that's bro. But when you hear about bro, it's like, nigga, that's Trey Lambert over there, nigga. 
And then you meet you and be like, oh, nigga, that's, that's my nigga. <laughs> do y'all say no? No, facts, bro. That's hard, though. Facts. No, I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's, a crazy, it's a crazy thing because I can say that I have my own personal love with LA because of my first gig. You know, it's like I did come from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a I'm a hood baby. Like I may not I may not have had hood uh lifestyles, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't broke I didn't I didn't I didn't uh, I wasn't born broke, but I definitely came from a place of I wasn't born rich either. So yeah. it's like it's like coming from where I come from and being around the people that I was around. Like my life is is extremely 30 70 and that 30 percent of the hood that's that's like really 70 but it's like you know what I'm yeah saying? yeah facts. you know what i'm saying but it's that's like, that's real though that's real nigga. you know what i'm saying real. but it's big like, time it's like, it's like being being raised from a place like philadelphia north philadelphia where a lot of people do not make it like i really don't think that people understand that like a lot of people don't make it to the point where you have people that become famous and become rich and they still feel stuck that they need to stay in my hood you know what i'm saying so it's like coming from philly and then going to la thinking yo i'm gonna be teching and i end up playing like and then y'all didn't do nothing but show me love like it's a different type of feeling when i touch down at lax bro or Burbank that go to rehearsal like it's just it's a different type of love and energy which gives me the the confidence and knowing that I never had to come over there trying to be somebody else you know what I'm saying like I can walk into a room and be myself and even if people do hit me with oh that's Trey Lambert da, 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 x y and z but I know if I see y'all two or if I see a Eric Moore or I see a Teddy Campbell or I see you know people from that area that show me love from day one like I feel like I'm back home I feel like I can walk through Nam and not have to be Walking around with my chest out because I'm this young boy from North Philly, and you know how you know how you know how mugs get like you know what I'm saying like I just never had that, and I think that's the that's the reason why a lot of people wait on me. You know what I'm saying because I True. can walk in any room and be myself. I don't have to walk around trying to be somebody that I'm not. You know what I mean because like God didn't do that. Jesus ain't walking there trying to be somebody else. He walked there being himself. So why do I feel like I gotta walk in there and be somebody totally different? Because y'all y'all ain't do nothing but show me love, bro. And that's that's a real thing. Like I I will. I will forever say that when I walk to the West Coast and I come outside out there, man, y'all don't do nothing but show up, man. So it's, it's giving back. Nah, big time. I mean, I, what I enjoy about this podcast, once again, is why I named it Levels to This is because people don't even understand Levels to This is not necessarily where, you're ex where you exactly are, but it's literally how we think, how we move, how we navigate this thing called life. And one thing about all three of us, no pun intended, is like, when we walk into rooms, we don't have to explain ourselves. Like that's the type of cloaking that God has given us. LJ walk in the room, instead of Nick, instead of niggas being like not ignoring him, niggas asking who is he, and not who is he to be nosy, but like there's something about him. I can't, I just can't invite this nigga anywhere because everybody like this nigga. They love him so fast. You, you walk into the room, niggas is trying to figure out is the cameras coming in after you because okay. it's just like we all we all walk like that we all know who we are we we blew past the expectations of what people thought we could do but we just set it up to us like at the end of the day let's show these younger cats if you be true to you first everything in life will be true to you after that but if you're fake with life everything that you encounter is fake after that because that's on that's the door that you've introduced yourself as that's the door that you didn't come through LJ, I can say hands down is the realest person I've ever met in my entire life next to you and a few other people. And mind yeah. you, I don't call a lot of cats my brother. Some of these cats is homies, but y'all two cats, for real. Like I know, Trey, you'll pull up for me when I'm in Philly. LJ will pull up for me even when I don't got tickets in LA. And I, <laughs> what's, what's, what sucks so bad is LJ will ask me to come support me and I can't I'll be like, I feel bad I'm letting him down because we know LA shows you cannot invite nobody to except Jesus. And that's only because he comes down from the roof. But I know if I even no, and this this is this is being for real, for real. Even if nah, I had a problem in LA, I could call LJ out of all my musician friends, out of anybody who I work in the industry with. Not because he's just, you know, 
oh that 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 he's so crazy no the thing about it is lj i can call lj to either tell me if i'm wrong or tell me what we need to do going forward a lot of people don't got circles like that where they can call somebody and be like hey bro you wrong dog or what you trying to do i just need i just need people like that and y'all them people for me no honestly bro you know it's even here all him even hearing all of our perspectives on what we all do you know i think that one is like yes to everything you guys have said but it's also too it's like i think the god factor bro because nigga, if you're scared of god you remain you remain selfless you know what i'm saying and Big the time. bible talk about that nigga. i'm gonna treat the reason why we homies is because when i met trey or and when i met you i treated you how i wanted to be treated that's not in the industry today that's not in the industry today nigga. it's like okay like i tell people all like it's crazy that i'm even like because all y'all niggas know me it's like i know y'all i like, don't do this shit. you feel no, me, you don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? but at the same time it's like like how i guess i built my brand and who i am and it's kind of crazy you know what i don't know i don't know if you know kelvin but clue kelvin told me he was like nigga he was like dude i see you being like that dude was clarence avon yeah clarence avon he was yeah. like everybody nobody knows you but everybody knows you yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying so it's just like it's just literally like like even you saying it's like i'm that guy in the room i'm always a fly on the wall because i always want to make a student to any and everything you know what i'm saying because i i love to learn you know yeah so it's just like to give your perspective of that, it's like, dang, it's honestly inspiring to hear. It's like, okay, what I've been trying to do, I'm doing. But at the same time, I've been trying to do that. You feel me? Yeah. I just yeah like, you, you are what I'm, you've been trying to do unintentionally. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, that's why I tell people all the time. It's like, and, and especially it's coming from out here. And it's, and it's cool to hear you say that, Trey, about the LA culture that you've experienced from the people out here. Because a yeah. lot of niggas don't meet. The, the niggas out here you know niggas get out here and put on a mask bro you know what i'm saying right, right. Like, niggas get out here and put on a mask and be acting all funny and shit and it's like for you for for me to be from the city that's like fake as fuck and hear you talk about real niggas from the city nigga, that's a bar for me bro like, we out here we out right, bro. and it's just but it's just i honestly think now and it's not i wouldn't even say it's just in entertainment bro it's like this world we live in is selfish Right? Yep. Everybody's agenda. Like, oh, who is like agendas. Niggas don't think about like who I'm gonna be. Niggas is like, I'ma be, I'ma be this for me. But it's just like, nah, I'm gonna be this for y'all niggas. You know what I'm Big saying? Time. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you got some homies you can smoke with in the hood. Like niggas, but you wanna come to my show, bro. Like, and I just took the homies to the show at the sofa, nigga. Like, and it's at LA. It's like, but I took some real niggas, like, like, look, this could be you too. And you know? Mm. Like yep. you could do this too. Like nigga, it's just like you gotta really invest your time. I got one of my homegirls, bro. She hard. She play keys and she like she's beautiful. And I'm like, nigga, nigga, if you were as good as me, they would hire you first. They wouldn't mm -hmm. hire me. They hire you. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta chase the game, bro. It's like I think that's a lack, and I don't know where it is in this society, bro. But niggas is like everybody want everything, but they don't want to work. How do you I guys feel about that? No, no, no. You're 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 big on it, but and you know what I feel like the the common denominator is, unfortunately, is social media. And I hate to blown, blame social media, but social media makes it so easy because what most people are showing on social media is the results, but not many want to show the process mm. because the process ain't pretty. Yeah. The process the process is in days when you don't got money them days that you gotta ask people for money them days you gotta ask yo is somebody looking for something that i may that i may be able to contrive for them like me i don't have a problem showing people my process why i have no problem even telling niggas what i make today why because what i explain in telling them what i make today is you hear what i'm saying i make today but let me start you off where i started at so you can understand this this didn't happen overnight this everybody's story ain't the same everybody ain't i don't know what y'all think that just because we out here looking fly we got jewelry on and stuff like that we out here making thousands of dollars no absolutely not honestly 
some of us got side hustles that y'all won't even understand why we have to do them or you don't understand how we even negotiate for ourselves yeah. so that the future of your opportunity is based upon these negotiations that i do now that's yeah. good that's good bro the cold it's, part you just you just said that you know some real nigga shit see this the part y'all niggas about to die this shit about to be funny but it's real life nigga I was niggas laughing already. Niggas on niggas on the I gotta I gotta leave for a second because nigga, you know, I gotta take my clothes out the dryer, nigga. I'm playing, <laughs> I gotta pop it. I'm playing a hundred, you know what I'm saying? But niggas don't you, you get what I'm saying? It's like people yeah. don't like I think that's the part of this music community and like the new rock stars that are coming up, quote unquote. It's like, yeah, nigga, you could be you could be on the biggest stage in the world, nigga. <laughs> you gonna still have to go wash your clothes. <laughs> Yo, Brad. You know what's crazy? You know what I'm saying, though? Yo, what's crazy about what you just said is that like, so I had I had this, I had my I'm with the drummer vlogs I started back in 2011, 2012, right? Mm -hmm. And I was doing the vlogs and I was just recording everything I was doing throughout the day. Like I'm just like, I'm gonna record this, I'm going to my jam session, I'm going shopping, um hustling, I'm doing whatever I gotta do, like whatever. And then, like, just to go forward on to what you just said with the social media thing, it's like, I was like, it hit me just now. But I'm like, yo, people really don't show the process, bro. Like, no, I'm like, no. it's a lot of people, bro. It's a lot of people, bro, that I legit be looking. And I just be like, man, do you know that, like, you not showing your process only, only makes me believe that you're fake? Because it's like, it's, it's only because it's like it's like how can you just get it like that you know my 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 biggest my biggest uh blessing to me was and i tell this to everybody is is to uh be ye all so ready right so i right. say i say i say that all the time because lately i've been getting pictures of like when i first was with ty and i was a little mm -hmm. young boy with braids and i was standing behind the drums and i was doing all this and doing all that and then people right. sitting there like they like, man, what was you doing? I'm just like, he when they got his clothes out the dryer. Um, that's facts though. That's facts though. But what I was saying, what I was saying, LJ, I was saying that like the process part is really where the blessing is, and I think people don't understand that. It's like you can be killing so bad on your instrument, you could be showing all of the chops, all of the licks, all of the all the little runs and chords, all of those things. But it's like you really are only showing. Like you really are only showing the good side of it and you're giving away your you're giving away the chops but you're not giving away the purpose behind the chop and i think that's right. my thing like yeah. like it's like i was showing my process because i wanted y'all to show i wanted to show my purpose even though at that yep. young age i didn't really know that's my good. purpose but you know just just showing that process is really where the purpose is man and a lot of people don't know their purpose and that's what's lacking that's what makes people feel like they're entitled when it's like bro you really don't know that it's bigger than just being behind the bass or being behind your instrument or whatever it's really bigger than that like if it wasn't yep. for if it wasn't for a uh, eric moore to really take my drums and help me set up during my first game with ty i would have never looked at him in that way like if he would have just been standing there and would have just been like Yo, I'm Eric Moore, and and from what I know, drum off, I know chops and all of those things. Like mm -hmm. he helped me with my process, bro. You know what I'm wow. saying? Like, like he crazy. helped. You talking about Eric, Eric from the Eric Moore from the Bay? Yeah, bro. Eric Moore was the first drummer. Bro, Eric Moore was the first drummer, bro. No lie, bro. Eric Moore was the first drummer from our Charway that helped me, bro. And it was crazy because what happened was somebody was recording the show out in the front house. So the mm. clicks was backwards. So I had to play the whole show to the click being backwards. My first Whoa. gig, bro, I'm 15, bro. My first gig with Ty, I'm playing to a backwards click, bro. No lie. Like, what? I was like, Yo, I would have snapped. Bro, but, I had to, but from where I come from, we coming from church. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it was like, yeah, I yeah. Wasn't about, that, that I wasn't about the fold. One thing, if you know me, one thing I don't like, and my girls say this all the time, like, I will not be embarrassed. I don't care about nothing. If we at the club, 
we buying a section and you ain't got, it's okay, pay me when we leave. We ain't about to be tallying up. We at a restaurant, we ain't about to be tallying up. Or who got split? No, listen, if we going halfway or we ain't going at all. Like, you know what I'm right, saying? Yeah, that's hit, you know, I don't, I don't do that embarrassing thing, but I mean, that's a whole nother story. No, but, nigga, that's I'm, bars though, nigga. The niggas, but see, that's the part though, Trey, not to cut you off though, because- no, you good. Like, niggas just like, oh, nigga, why? Like, oh, nigga, you hard. Oh, you play this. You play with this. Oh, you play this instrument. Oh, this is like, nigga. All right, nigga. First off, first and foremost, I'm a grown ass man. No fuck cat. that business and shit. You feel me? And it's like, niggas be like, oh, you do this and do this. Like, like even right now, showing the process. You talk about it, it's like, yeah, nigga, I played. I done played Coachella and all of this. I done did all of this shit. I done been in this thing, all of this. All that. But what, nigga? But at the same time, <laughs> these clothes right here. Still got to get washed. These nigga. clothes still got to get washed, bro. You know what I'm saying, though? You feel me? It's like, and then Dude, even, to this day. Nigga, you know, it's, I think, man, honestly, that's something, honestly, I, I mean, I know this is like a, you know, you know, this is Clue's interview process, you know? I mean, yeah. This shit is tight, bro, because a lot of people need to see, because this is what happens. Let's say we was in, I don't know, Washington or something, and it'd be added like that. And they'd be like, oh, nigga, Clue here? Oh, for sure, Trey here? When we pull up to like a, to go to eat or something, this is the conversation that we will have. Oh yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, exactly. But yeah. it's, it's it's really it's crazy because I really don't like do interviews and I ain't trying to be no rock star. But at the same time, it's like this is also showing me like the the niggas that's coming up. It's like nigga, I got a homie Sam Harvey. If you ever need a bass player too, this nigga, but this nigga learned how to play bass during COVID. Literally started. He's like 21. 21, 22, nigga, this nigga cold. I'm like, when you start, this nigga came to the church and you know how you get them hard church songs? You be like, and you got a yes bass player? Like, uh, I hope this nigga learned the song. <laughs> it's that man, it's hard. This nigga pulled up, played the song. Yeah, like, COVID made you. And then he was like, he was like, yeah, I just started playing bass two years ago. I learned how to play bass during COVID. I said, what? I said, great, you met the right person today. But it's just yeah. like, I be talking to bro about life and shit. Like him and his girl just got their first apartment. They got their own shit. And it's like, I be telling him, I'm like, dog, music will come if you keep your life right, nigga. Like, yeah. if you learn how to pay bills on time, you'll learn how to be the sweetest bass player. But nigga, if you learn how to be the sweetest bass player first, <laughs> your bills ain't gonna get paid on time. Like, it's backwards, I mean? nigga. It, it, it's crazy though, right? Because it's like, it is. like even seeing both of y'all faces, it's like, yeah, nigga. It's like I be telling these little young niggas, I be like, bro, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna discredit like not little young niggas, like I got you, yeah. But I wanna like in the community that we are in and how we learned and came up in, it's like we had niggas being like, nigga, the homie Jimmy Gimmick said one time, nigga, because I was working at Home Depot, and I'll never forget this, and I was about to not go to work to go to session, right? That nigga said, dude, go to work. The session can wait. And if they can't wait for you, you ain't supposed to be there. Nigga, that shit fucks me up. Cause I'm like, I'm like, you know how musicians do it? They can be like, nigga, I got an opportunity today. I ain't going to work. Shit. <laughs> no, I'm saying, bro. <laughs> now, then you get it out with that, let's say that first session, that's like, yeah, it's just a, yeah, you don't get that. They do you shady, it's like, oh, then you lost the job. Lost yeah, the job to go to a bad opportunity. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. Now that bad opportunity, you ain't got no money tomorrow. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But it's like Man. I think I think this is really good, dude, for like like it's for the community to hear, man, because it's like everybody wants to change. Like you like this is what we talk about. Everybody wants to change. Oh, everybody wanna be endorsed. You don't know how long I had to stay on the phone. Nigga, shit what? what? Nigga, I had to stay on the nigga I had to stay on the phone or you chopped down. I had to go, you know what I'm saying? My rep is busy too, but I got free baby. But yeah, like, all right, nigga. But at the same time, I still gotta take all the pictures, nigga. I gotta do all of that shit. Yeah. I don't even wanna do it. That ain't my but I, at the same time, it's like, like you said, the process, bro. We need to figure out how to show these guys like that wanna be cool, bro. Like, like well, I'm a great musician, nigga, but I'm a great dad too. You know what I'm saying? I'm a stand-up man, I go to church, nigga. I'm God fearing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's the part though. It's like that's the culture, bro. Like it's the culture, and I think that like even though it's like hard right now, 
I think that it's really about action. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just always make sure that, like, my actions speak louder than my words. Like, yeah. I really can't, like, I don't know how to be fake. And I just posted something last night, man, on Instagram. And I was like, I was like, it's going to happen with or without you. You know what I'm saying? And I think that, that's, just, that's just something that I'm just living by right now in the, this last month of the year because I feel like you will try so hard to try to show somebody the right way where you missing your own blessing where it could be somebody in the future that needs it, you know? So like, me, like I've been trying my hardest. Like I was in a season where I was trying my hardest to put on everybody that was around me because I felt like they deserved it to the point where now it's like, they probably did deserve it, but they probably couldn't handle it, you know? And it's like, wow. it's like, I be like, I look at all these rappers, you know, and we musicians, we talk about every day. You see a rapper making 500,000, 200,000, you know what I'm saying? A show and we make it nowhere near that. We ain't even making 10% sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like, do I sit here and do I question that? Or do I fix what's going on with myself and figure out what my game plan gonna be? Because if right. I'm sitting here watching another man's pocket, then all that's going to do is have me keep looking at the lint because nine times out of ten, they probably going to keep getting full and full and mine's going to keep getting emptier and emptier because I'm focusing on the next plate. You know? Yeah, yeah that's a bar, nigga. Like, yeah, bro, it's like, I'm not, I'm I'm in a place where it's like either you're going to catch it or you're going to miss it and the next person going to catch it. So I'm not going to keep showing you or putting out there, all right, man, you know, I, I, I go to church every Sunday. You may see me the night before at a jam session or you might see me at the weekend concert with y'all, or you might see me on my own stage or whatever, but I always make it my effort to make it to church on Sunday. Either you Bro. gonna catch that, or you gonna catch the, or you gonna catch the hype. Which one you gonna catch? Because I'm giving the gems out, but it's like either you gonna <laughs> stick through it. Or you gonna eat the whole cereal, bro? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's like that's what I'm, bro. Like I'm not on because most leaders don't leaders don't really like write down. All right, this is the play by play. They act on it. They walk. They 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 are the example, and that's the difference. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm showing you what you should do. That's like my my mom telling me, don't go ahead. Listen, don't eat those cookies. Don't eat those cookies. Don't eat those cookies. My mom was never that type of woman. She was, listen, you ain't supposed to eat those cookies because you got to eat dinner first. Now, if you go eat those cookies, now the results is going to be beating the crap out of you. But that's <laughs> something that you're going to have to learn. Proverbs 13, 24. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, the, that's just that's just what we on. And I think now that it's like, bro, I done hit 30, bro. And my whole life done flipped, bro. It's the most scariest thing ever, bro. Like, my birthday... Bro, I'm still I'm still celebrating my birthday. Like, but it's like in that little weekend I was away, I ain't even post nothing. Not because I didn't want to show nobody, but I was just in such a spiritual loving atmosphere and yeah. having so much fun with the people around me that I really wanted to get my own flower. I wanted my own flowers. I didn't want to Instagram flower. I ain't want to wow. people that don't hit you up the whole year or the people that do hit you up the whole year don't post. Say it again. Yep. Day -Z. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't want none of that. You know what I mean? Like the people that, that love me, they call me. The people that love me, they post me, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, I was just hearing the voice of God, man. And it really just showed me like, my, my purpose is to act up, act on it and not just, you know what I'm saying? Not just show, cause I can, I can flex, bro. I can flex. I can post pictures of what I wear every day if I wanted to. I can show my drums. I can show this. We can do. We, you, you can live elder. You can literally move away from the camera, and people can literally look at every picture on your wall. That's that's amazing. Speaks but for itself. It speaks for itself. But you saying out your mouth, you acting on your kids, and you taking your kids to school, and you taking your kids out to dinner, and you being the realest person in the room and you being a fly on the wall. And then it's like, dang, man, he did say that. Let me observe. Cause then it's making you think it's bigger than social media, bro. It's been bigger than social media, but we live in that world where it's like, if social media was to disappear, it's definitely going to be like 10 of us. That's really, oh, you know what I'm bro. saying? Social like, media, if so, social media disappeared today, niggas would be fucked. <laughs> jacked up, bro. They be jacked up, bro. And, I, and it's crazy, bro. It's so crazy, bro. Cause it, this conversation gets me so hyped. It's so crazy because I really like, I be talking to my hood friends, bro. And I'm gonna give you a crazy example. Like, and I can, I'm, I'm cause y'all my dogs. Like, yo, so during the pandemic, right? You know, we all wasn't gigging, right? You had a lot of people that was going through depression. They was going through, I went through it at a moment or whatever. But you know, as musicians, our high is live music. Our high is being on stage. Our high is the, the confetti dropping, the, the smoke coming, 
up on the stage, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Seeing the people yep. react Everything. to the music, you know what I mean? The bass drop, oh, like all of that. Like that's the, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the high part of it. Right. I was going out every night, bro. No lie, I was at the club, bro. Like, no, bro, I never club top a day in my life, bro. I lot, bro, my right-handed guy, bro. That just was never my scene. But I was like, you know what? Let me go out and start, you know what I'm saying? Get myself together. Cause if I sit in this crib, it's a rat, bro. But me <laughs> yep. not going, me not going to the club saying, yo, I'm this drummer. You know what I'm saying? I play for this person. I play for that person. I was just in the cut, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the, you know what I mean? With my dogs, my home, my girl, you know what I'm saying? Like. It wasn't until after the pandemic, so people that I met in that whole circle was so stuck on my character that once mm. the social media hit, it all made sense. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know, that's what it did. Nigga, Trey, you're my confirmation, right? Let me tell you why. Bro. That literally, it's like, I'm literally doing that right now. Literally, yeah. like, if you pay attention like to my social media, I'll be little, little, but I changed my branding to black and white. Yeah. And it's like it's like I changed my brand. I changed my brand into black and white because I'm I either fuck with you or I don't. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying. And it's just like you literally the process that you just gave is like I don't quote unquote, but I don't be saying nothing. Like in our community, I'm like the friend, like the hood crib brother nigga. They like LJ's never gonna post anything. That's yeah, just what no. it is. So and if it's not his kids or it's not his church or it's not the weekend shit, it's like he's not gonna post nothing. Nobody knows nothing about me. Like literally, bro, literally what you just said, I'm doing. Cause it's like, I know all these people on the site, but at the same time, it's like, I'm trying to also, you guys come see me come flex. It's like, now I'm gonna show you, now I have a curriculum for you to network. This is how you network. Be yeah. a real nigga. That's how you kill the game. No cat. Kill it. And everybody ain't gonna like you like that. Everybody ain't gonna like you like that. But no. Many, what we say, cool. Many a car if you were chosen. You ain't supposed Man, to like bro, it. Bro, bro, I'm telling you, I just, uh, I don't Simple even know if that. you know this, cool. You remember Brian Spain? I do remember Brian Spain. Like, like he had with Mario right now. You probably don't know, bro, but this nigga's one of the coldest keyboard players ever. Cold. 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 For years. Quit music. You know why? Because he's a real nigga and he didn't fuck with the game. He just came back. Then he came back into the scene. He got the Mario gig right now, the fresh tour and everything. What's up, Mr. Jaime? No, uh, he got the Mario tour. This nigga came to my house, bro. It was just like, I don't want to put, bro, but it's like, it's an opportunity. It's a process. He was like, dude, I'm like, nigga, when I say you can play all of that tickery, all of that shit, like, he better to be. But he he's, came he's, he's a genius. Like, he's like, I never played all these keyboards before. Like, how do you play all the keyboards at once? I said, first thing, you don't play all the keyboards at once. If there's, you choose which one you need. So to, like this, hitting these keys you know, like that. Niggas be thinking it's like, it's like, dude, like you and keyboard players, that's a bar too. I'll be telling keyboard players, I'm like, uh, you're a keyboard player, that's too much gear. If I'm creatively designing the set and they have a band, if your rig does not look like art, I'm not using you. Okay. I don't need a bunch of gear. I need, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of crazy, it's like, yeah, we gotta, I think we got work to do, all of us, nigga, especially in this game. It's like, especially from this conversation. And it's inspiring to me, to be honest with you, Clue, to like finally like open up and tell like my experiences, because we all have yeah. different ones. You know what I'm saying? Right. But people that, the real ones, like Trey said, it's like, nigga, I'm not gonna sit and hold your hand. I'm gonna be the example though for you. And yes. if you can't, if you can't get on the bandwagon, if you ain't jumping on the, I'm gonna slow the car down for you to jump in. But if you, if I slow the car down and you don't jump in, it's like, I can't wait for you, Nick, because the next nigga that I need to help is right there. I can't wait back here for you. I got to help yep. him too. You know what I'm saying? You're right. That's yeah, right, it's, 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 it's entitlement. But even to bring it back, LJ was something that you said, and this is the reason why I'm glad that God gave me Mike Phillips, who poured this idea into my head, is we needed a place to have conversations. <laughs> that yeah. doesn't exist that doesn't exist anymore now i'll even say this i'm not the first one to do it because to be honest trey was the first guy that was having conversations like this when you had your radio show and you had me on it was conversations like this that i feel like gave the knowledge to those who don't know and uh, the unfortunate part of it is you like i always say is there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who have answers and there's a lot of people who have questions but the two aren't trying to ask it because the people who 
have the answers, don't feel like anybody wants the knowledge, or they've gotten turned off based upon giving people knowledge and then not doing anything with it. And you have people who have questions, but they're too scared based upon the images of social media that they can even come to us and ask us certain questions. And that's what I want. I, it, it's for us to break that barrier down and say, that's a lie. That's a lie of the enemy. The stupidest question is the question you don't ask. If you have access to me, use it. Why we have access to God. And our biggest problem is we don't ask him. And then we do something stupid. That's real. That's real. That's bars though, nigga. That's bars. And, and like for me, like, I just wanted levels to this, not only to be what we do, but the way that we think. Listening to both of you guys talk, I even gain knowledge because Trey. Trey's right. perspective, there, it's not even saying that y'all saying different things, but y'all journey's been different, but y'all results have been the same in greater and greater avenues in different ways. And then on top of that, not only that, here it is, three kings sitting here having a conversation, but you have ideas that he's inspired you and you also have access to him to gain more experience without even having to go through the process. But you have somebody who can tell you, hey, miss this, miss that. You don't need that. Actually, I remember when, remember when I was making that playback rig at your house? And, <laughs> <laughs> hold on, Trey. Let me tell you a story of how relationship is so amazing. I was making my first playback rig and I was dealing with somebody who was trying somebody who's familiar in making playback rigs he was trying to charge me almost upwards of double the price that i ended up being able to make create everything i needed but what god showed me is you have relationships with some of the best playback engineers in the industry do you know what god did he had me reach out to those guys one of them was working at sweetwater so i got mm. sweetwater discount not only mm. that they literally told me off of the list of the invoice you don't need that Nah, you don't need that you don't need that literally sliced the price in half and i oh, built wow. it at lj's house wow we, we and he learned how to he, he learned how to build a playback rig just because i was working with him at the time that cannot be right I cannot be right. <laughs> now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. <laughs> refrigerator. Not, I don't know if you know this version. You trade, nigga. I have this. Everybody keeps it. People keep saying it. Like, you know how niggas talk about yes, man. I am not that, nigga. That no, nigga man, I was like, at all. Oh, fucking no. <laughs> but that's, that's like, that's also something that's like a thing where it's like, mugs be saying yes because they think that's going to get them in the room. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's been plenty of times I had to say no. Where I'm just like, bro, my bad. I don't, I can't be in this situation because this is how you move, bro. It ain't even got nothing to do with music. It's like, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, if you, and it's crazy, though, for real, bro. Because if you know me, one thing, one thing about me, if you know me, bro, it's two things I don't do. I, I, I don't like, I don't, I don't smoke weed and I don't Correct. like being embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that's like, those are the two things, bro. And a lot of people hate me, bro. And I just realized that somebody told me this, bro, the other day, bro. A lot of people hate me because I don't smoke weed. And it's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's not my thing. You know what I, I mean? Don't, I love it. I can smoke more for you. Amen. Listen, dude, let's, but that's the thing, though. That's the thing. Ask I be telling my I'm like, how you don't like me? That means you ain't got to pass me the blunt. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's more weed for you. Like, you ain't even. Nigga, I'm going to laugh regardless. I'm a joke. I play all day. Well, <laughs> I'm, you know what I mean? Like, one less person in the circle. One less person in the rotation. You don't want to invite me to the party because you think I'm going to ruin it? You's a dummy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> listen, you, you's a fool. Like, that just showed me that just whatever you smoking definitely burning something in your head because you stupid. Uh, like, real though. But you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, like. Active. Yeah, bro, but it's like a lot of people really be decimate, bro. Ooh. Like, that's the part that really be tricking me up because I'm just like, yo, you really told me yes when. I really had on two left shoes, bro. Like, you told me it was cool. Like, you know bro. what I'm saying? Like, that's like the old school rub. Like, nigga, you tell your homie, you're, this is how you know your homie a real nigga. Like, hey, bro, not like that, bro. But uh, you got a booger in your nose, you're fly. Bro. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you from the jump. First of all, I'm telling you from the jump because we hanging out together. I yeah, don't want to be around you. Be you. if you got boogie, you got boogie in your nose, bro. Go in, the, go in the crib real quick, bro. You. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I give you having boogies in your nose. Like, LJ, you know me. I'll give niggas hand signals. Or I'll just be like, hey, bruh. But that's that's what it is. But 
that's the other thing, bro. Like, I don't know what has started this this infatuation of the mind of being okay to tell niggas what you think they want to hear. That's what niggas do to females. Why are we doing that to the homies? And then you got the audacity to be mad at somebody for believing it. Why they, why they, why they doing that, LJ? Trey said it depends, bro. And it's like, niggas got their beliefs and all this, bro. But what makes a nigga be a real nigga, bro? Cause I'm scared of God, bro. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> if I fuck, if I would have met both of y'all nigga the first time, you been a fucking change, nigga. God would have dealt with me. <laughs> but I think that's oh, also, for real though. That's the fact because if you think about it, a lot of people that you really would, that you really like met, and they was like weirdos or jerks or something like that. Like they may have lasted for a minute, but that minute, that was it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people I really like see, and I'd be like, "Dad, bro, this dude used to treat me grimy, bro." Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a year may pass, two years may pass, even five years may pass, and they may be, you know what I'm saying? Like, up there, but after that, you don't be hearing nothing, you don't be seeing nothing, you know what I'm oh, saying? Quiet. It's, it's quiet, bro. But it's like, you know, you that ain't really up for us to really like care for, but it yep. is because it gives you the motivation and in the in the in the, in the example to know what not to do you know what I'm saying? oh for real no you know what i was talking to uh i was talking to the homie juice and sam about it, which is which is this is a crazy conversation because in, instead of like because a lot of this world right because they're so selfish right let's say nigga you my homie nigga and it's like we get into it it's like i'll go do something like i'll work hard over you like I'll make you my muse, right? Like nigga, I'ma show this nigga, I'ma do it not because I wanted to do it in the first place, right? But that's this world we live in. It's like, man, I'm not doing it because this is what I want to do. I'm doing this because I want to prove to you, nigga, I'm better. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's like I don't need you. Hate that, man. Hate it, bro. Nigga, that's that's it, and it's that's that's a that's a big thing in this world. It's like everybody wants to be successful, it's like because they want to show everybody they. They, they the got, ego. Like even that's even the ego. even the money, yeah. it's like people, it's people out here. That's like me. So I just <laughs> y'all niggas gonna laugh, but this is my perspective. This <laughs> this could be funny because I'm like I wanna I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the nigga with the bag in the bank, right? I'll be the billionaire that's gonna pull up in a pickup truck and have a fucking two bedroom house in garden. Let me tell you what, the nigga's like, oh, I want. I want this big mansion. I'm like, okay, nigga, how many rooms? Oh, I me, mean, I want 48 rooms. I'm like, all right. 48. This is how I fuck people up. I'm like, who's gonna clean it? <laughs> Real rat. <laughs> Real rat. Lamborghini? Okay. So, you know, Lamborghini brakes take, to change your brakes to 10 grand? Who's gonna change your brakes? From the jump. <laughs> depreciates when it gets off the lot. It's like, I'm like, but it's like, but I, I don't tell, I don't discredit people because there's genuinely people that really love money and that's cool, but the accountability in it. Yeah. And this is what we're talking about in our careers and our, and what I'm just, on being on the phone, it's like, yeah, you see me do this. This is cool. This is in front of the camera. Then you go find out what I did behind the camera, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go find out what I did behind the camera, my nigga. Like, let me see. Okay, you all. Oh, yeah, I'm on one of the biggest stages. I guarantee you, you don't, nigga, even walk. You know how I view niggas walking to the stage. I'm like, nigga, I'm the fucking bass player. Can I go, please? Please. <laughs> can I go? Please, bro. And it's like, can I please? And then, but you got to understand, too. It's like, think about the things that we are. We got those experiences. Like, but, oh, you can't go in there. Where's your pass? And it's like, how you doing, man? Here's my pass. I'm the bass player. You know what I'm saying? But after that part, but she still don't let you go, who you gonna be? You gonna have patience for her? Or you gonna just be like, bitch, I'm the fucking bass player. Ooh, 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 ooh. Or are you gonna be like, excuse me, ma'am, I'll wait. Just call my tour manager or call the manager. And like, He'll come validate me, but I'll, I'm gonna sit here and I appreciate you. I appreciate yep. you doing job, you're killing it. I hope you have a great day. Just call the manager and just like, he'll come get me and that's cool. Bro, that's, that's, that's how you kill people that's with kindness. For real, yeah. like even, even on the tour that I just went on, bro, I was I was out with the artist and his DJ and his videographer, bro. And I bet you ain't gonna say what you did on a live television. Shut up. 
<laughs> Listen, that is not cap. But anyways, act right. But anyways, what we would do is every time we came into a venue, I always, I always like to acknowledge the security. Why? Because they're not just securing the building on a regular basis. They're securing our lives for that night. We know of artists who have been killed at at meet and greets. It could be any of us at a time. There's bomb threats at there's there's bombings at shows. It could be any it could be any time. But what we would do is we would literally walk past everybody. They called us the high five crew, the high five guys. I literally mm. would give every every time it don't matter how many times we walked past a security guard. I would probably be the first one in front of my guys and I give them a high five and my guys would give them all high fives. Why? Because I said we want to respect these people as people. They not they may not be with have the same credentials as we do. They may not have the same titles and the same occupations of why why we're all in the same place, but we're all here together. And what I want to do is always treat them like people first. At the end of the yeah. day, there's there's no access I can't have if I treat you with the love of God first. Mm. But yeah. when we but when we walk with these entitled AA, all access passes through life is when we start getting our feelings hurt, Trey. That's what a lot of cats is, that's what's happening to a lot of these musicians today is. They, they walk in, passes. <laughs> they got all bar, access, bro. but they don't even that's understand. The bar, bro, they don't understand the act. Bro, the access, the access isn't to be an asshole. The access is to love people and show them why you have this access. So that so that when they do question your past, you say, I got it from the man upstairs. Hey, hold on, just wait right here. I'm gonna call him for you. My boy said, is it not the sermon? Come through, Deacon. Shut up, because y'all both done <laughs> preached. <laughs> nah, because it's like, it's like, it's like, bro. And they, I, that's a bar. Alex, Alex is past the life. Because when you leave the arena, nigga, you still gotta watch your fucking clothes, nigga. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's right. What was you about that's to say, Trey? Oh I can't God. stick the ticket. I Bro, can't. Go ahead, Trey. You no, know, that's a bar, nigga, because that's it. That's oh, it. Man, it's say. it's facts, bro. It's like it's like um one thing I I, I want to do like that I'm, I'm going to present to to somebody in the that's like a tour for you actually. I'm gonna present something to you. Um, I'm gonna present it to you after we get off here so that when people see that they can't do it. So I'm gonna say it now, just because. Why? But I feel like, as musicians, there needs to be a list of, like, person, like a personality list that we all mm. like, like a like a test that we take. Because I feel like even when we go on tour, it's like people be really with like new people that they don't even know for real, and then mm -hmm. there's all these personalities, and then you have situations like you said where. You ain't even know this dude had an anger problem, and he done punched the security guard in her throat because she ain't let him get to ca get to the cafeteria, or you know what I'm saying, like just little stuff like that. I feel like that's like the biggest thing with musicians right now. We don't have people skills, you know what I'm saying? Like we don't know how to talk to each other. We don't know how to have conversation. You know, you don't understand yep. the MD if he's telling you you, you playing the wrong note. You done took it offensive. Now you mad. You know what I'm saying? Like all of those feelings. things. Yep. play a role in us because we selfishness nigga yeah. that's but you can't but you can't you can't be mad if it's the thing the, the thing for me that i had to realize bro like people just everybody wasn't raised the same everybody yep. not coming from the same golly home or they're not coming from two pair homes or they're what not coming yep. they're not coming from examples men and women you know what i mean because mm -hmm. it's, it's one thing to be like oh you wasn't raised in the house with a dad if you wasn't raised in the house with a mom that's still a bad thing too you know That's true. Like my mom done taught me a lot more than my dad could even ever tell me, you know, teach me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like yeah. it's like those things right there, man, plays a role in this new generation. Uh let me not say yeah, our generation. Let me not say new generation, true. our generation. Yeah. Because, you know, we just never had that conversation or we always just overlooked or we always felt like we got because a lot of us got thrown into stuff. It wasn't a thing where we was yeah. All right, man, we're going to prep you for this gig or we're going to prep you for this tour. We're going to prep you for this, whatever. Oh, nigga. Yes. A lot of us got thrown into it, bro. I can tell you firsthand, bro. Nine <laughs> times out of ten, a gig that I have received happened the day before or it was somebody else's gig that I had to take. Dang. It wasn't because I wanted to take it. I Either I didn't know or I found out the day of that it was somebody else's gig. Or, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just Dang. been a situation where just God just 
was looking out for the kids. So if I'm walking into a situation and I ain't mentally there, and that person, whoever gig it was, or me going into a new artist or whatever, if I was thrown off in the head, ain't no telling how I would take it. Right. But we praying, if we ain't reading, if we ain't fasting, if we ain't, you know what I'm saying, understanding the real re reasoning behind certain words in the Bible. Because a lot of people read the Bible and take it literal. Some people don't really dissect the words, dissect. The Talk about yeah. it. Talk about it. it. They don't do that. So it's like, it's like just stuff like that, man. I really, I really believe that like with us and maybe, you know, a few other people, we can really be that light, you know what I'm saying? In darkness, because our purpose is bigger than just feeling like, yo, man, we're going to play the gig and we're going to get this money and we're going to be out. Like, no, nah, bro, my, I know my purpose ain't that. I know that when I met Dirk and he was going to do what he went through and I asked him if he was okay, that was a light because that opened up a door for him to feel like he needed prayer. He's a Muslim, to. but but I still prayed to my God. You know what I'm saying? I still let it be known, nigga. All is well it is so. You know what I'm saying? Hey. So like you gotta just some people just don't know that part. And that's that's why I think that like that's what we need to be at right now. Like and this we going have to, forward because yeah, bro. Yeah, because this next season, bro, like you gotta think about it. This year wasn't like really like a year for everybody to really shine. This was it wasn't the year outside. For us it wasn't outside. Bro, for this was the year, bro. We legit, we legit went through 2022 getting comfortable from what happened two years ago. Like I Correct. really didn't even dissect 2019 until this year. Yeah, facts. Same. Like Same. no cap, bro. Same, nigga. Like, I was literally ball. like, I'm like, yo, man, it's Jingle Ball again. Wow. I, I, the last time I did Jingle Ball was 2019. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm like, yo, yo that's. That's crazy. I'm like, yo, people really torn. People going overseas. People doing. I'm like, yo, I literally did the Jonas brother. I did this tour. I did that tour. I made this much. I did all of those things. It didn't hit me until now. I'm like, yo, I got a band. I got. Do I really want to go back out on tour? Do I really want to focus on myself? Do, do I, I really want? You know what I'm saying? Like, ah. but it's like, it's like, yo, it's like, it's like those things are like now, like the process all of that this year. So now next year, it's up. But absolutely, we gotta lead. We gotta be the example. Like I'ma always push that. Like we gotta be the example. We gotta be the leaders, and not just the ones that's just doing it. Because we can all just do it. Yeah. We all can. Yeah. We all can wear the flyest hoodies and flyest hats and coolest glasses and fly jewelry and play our instruments for free because we the top dogs or we the dogs making our way to the. We can all do that. We can play in arenas. You can call niggas Abel and you ain't got to call them the weekend. I can call niggas Cuz and not Meek Mill. I, we can all do that. Yeah. yeah. But what's the purpose behind that? Why are you able to call him Abel? Why am I able to call him Cuz? Why are you able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with the tour manager? Why? Because of your right. actions, because of your character. And that's the thing that makes me bang with y'all the hardest because it's like Paul's because it's like, Y'all of y'all character, bro. Like y'all character man, is bigger than just music with me. Like I never love, I don't love based off of opportunity because I can make I come from a hustling city, bro. You know what I'm saying? When the pandemic happened, I was out here selling masks, thermometers, gloves. <laughs> I was out here, bro. I was I was the first no lie. Dude, bro. I ain't no gonna lie, lie I thought I about it. A, bro, <laughs> listen, bro, I was the first dude. <laughs> Call me soldier boy, bro. I was the first boy in Philly with the black mask, bro. I was, bro. I had, I had funeral homes lined up, bro. Wow, that's crazy. You know that's fire. You know what I mean? But it's like, it's like I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not trying to be connected with people because of that. Like, if my purpose aligns with your purpose and your purpose aligns yeah. with my purpose, then it's like, yo, we're all here for one reason, and that's to bring people to Christ and show them that with this person. This entity, this one of one, this rare Jordan or Air Force One or Yeezy, this person that so sits so high up, if he was able to give us a gift, why should we milk it? Why should we feel like, yo, I'm going to get blessed one time and I'm going to holler? Like, no, bro. I'll yeah, be, that's a bar. I'll be yeah. a fool, bro. Yeah. Bro, I would nah. be a fool to tell you that I got blessed and then I was just like, yo, I'm just living my life. No, because I got blessed. I played with Ty. That went where it went. I thought it was it. I play with Marsha, I play with these people, I play with Jack, I play with Future, all these people. Then I got shot. Then you, know you got saying? shot. Like, you, know I mean? you know what I'm saying? Like, my that's bars, though, nigga. That's real, bro. 
Like the blessings I thought I had was like, I'm I'm lit, I'm up. And I got comfortable. I tell you, bro, I got comfortable, dog. Like I was outside, hanging with whoever, hopping in mm -hmm. cars, living, walking around by myself, going to people's stuff by myself, flying to LA by myself, going to the A by myself, talking to people because I knew who I was, like right. all of those things, but not keeping the main thing, the main thing. You know what I'm saying? And once the, the main, main thing, thing the main Bro, once the main thing stop being the main thing, bro, you a clown in me, bro. Like you a clown. Cause it your light ain't shining. So what we standing next to nigga, each other for, that bro? That part, nigga. That's the key. Nigga. It's like, nigga, okay, you good, but is your light shining, nigga? Is your light shining, bro? Bro, y'all was behind the stage and I still felt it. Dim nigga. city. See, I did this is so cool because a lot of people this is really really good that's a good one that's good and i don't really talk about shit like that but it's like everybody that was like like when we was behind the stage like oh how do you feel it's like you know what i love it because now i can reach the people behind the stage and not just the people out here i done reached off i got you know what i'm saying but now it's like i think i'm big on that shit nigga. when i be walking around like our tour is big now it's like honestly we was talking about it nigga, bro we had we had 20 trucks and I think like 18 tour buses. That's beyond but it's like, nigga, I have a thing when I'm walking around backstage, honestly, and I'll be like, and I'll be throwing down and shit like, well, I'll, I'll just be like, come in the band room, like, you know, I smoke with you real quick, you know what I'm saying? Night with some of them, type shit. Yeah. But when I get people by themselves, though, like, I'm pretty cool. I literally be like, look. Like, if ain't nobody told you today, you need to do a good fucking job. If ain't nobody told you today, you're doing a good <laughs> fucking job. Yeah, you know doing why? Good job. Like, like one of those, like, like you just talk about it. So like, I feel like the God in me is just like, nigga, a lot of the time people don't appreciate that. And it's like, no. okay, the reason why God made me able to base player is because it's going to mean a little bit more for me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, if ain't nobody told you today, you doing a good fucking job man but that's how my network is crazy that's why like quote unquote niggas are comparing me to clarence bond because it's like it's like i don't i don't i don't care i'm an I'm an introverted extrovert so i i'm the nigga that can sit in the dark by myself but at the same time i got this big ass character that i feel is my assignment for the rest of y'all you know what i'm saying Absolutely. so it's just like it's like that shit is real nigga. you said some real good shit Trey, nigga. oh I'm yeah like, perspective we outside, bro. No, nah, real. What's crazy is listening to both of y'all. Like, I, on one of my interviews that I'm, I can't wait to put out was with Moshe, and Moshe mentioned something that I've always done and I always do it. He was like, one thing I remember about you is every time before we left any show that we did, you would literally stop everybody and thank everybody for coming to work. I always do that. Why? Because nothing that we have exists without these people. No fucking know. People, but but you have people who literally walk around like finish playing won't even think they text won't even thank the person who was making made sure that you had a fan like i thank people just for showing up why because you didn't have to be here today you could have literally been anywhere i literally said thank you for being here you could have been anywhere today on earth but the fact that you're here helping us be able to expand our dreams and desires i appreciate all y'all on behalf of the artists Nigga, fuck I think y'all. If y'all niggas wasn't here, I can't feed my kids, nigga. That part. <laughs> can't wash my clothes. Can't get no detergent. Can't wash my clothes. But the other thing, <laughs> the other thing that that I caught off of what y'all said is, what we need in this coming year and what we need to push as, because this conversation is a is not just a great conversation of levels to this, but it's an accountability conversation for all of us to know where we have to stand from this day forth for each other and for the next generation but we have to we have to push death to agenda because agenda has a end date and the reason why a many people everything is really agenda driven today everybody got agendas i got i got i got to get i got to hear i got to get to do this i got to meet this person to get this access to this versus just saying god what's your agenda for my life because with your agenda i'll be in every place i need to be in time on time i won't have to fake it i won't have to i won't have to overcompensate i won't be overwhelmed i may have anxiety because i may not understand how good you are 
and why you put me there immediately. But I'll understand the fact that you've even let me in there. You've already come. When, when, when I hear, you know, God be for us, what I hear is not just God be for us, meaning um, like he's for me. He, he votes for me. But God be for us mean God went in whatever, whatever I'm about to encounter. He went there before me to make sure that me going there was safe. Mm. That's that's the before that I, I read is God. You went in here and made sure that everything in here. Nothing would harm me. Everything here to help me. All things in this room work for the good of them that love you, which is me. So all of these things are hired by you. And me being your child, I automatically have access to everything in this room. All I have to do is show up. All I gotta do part. is be there. You can lead a horse to water. That, that's, not how, that's how God treat us. You can, lead a, <laughs> God, you can lead a horse to water, then it's like, gotta open the door. It's like, you gonna walk in or not? What's up? I open it. And some not people really. just be staying at the door. Some you you sure you sure you want me to go in? And one thing that I feel like what stops a lot of us or stagnates us is we have the audacity to beg God for opportunity. And when it happens, we question, God, is this really for me? But it's crazy you right now for this. Because this conversation is my confirmation from my fucking pastors. <laughs> Where on Sunday he was like, yo, you know, he was like, bro, and I don't know if you know my pastor, Trey, this nigga don't preach like, oh, God, don't bless you. That nigga be preaching like, he always got to like, nigga, you ain't doing good. You need to fix this. You need to do yeah. And on Sunday, he had a word. He was like, man, God said he gonna open the door. Like, but it might be something completely different. Like, I was thinking about that when I was talking about the closing shit. Because I'm like, I'm like, I really don't want to. I don't really want to be like, y'all niggas know me, bro. I don't want to be cool. But at the You're same time, I keep, I keep getting presented these opportunities because it's like, like the conversation we we're saying is like, there's too many people shining that ain't supposed to be shining. And they're teaching, they're teaching the world bad things bro so it's and for me personally i'm like damn nigga i need to step into it like, like even i'm laughing at myself like why are we talking i'm looking at y'all instagram's name i should just say hell to the boy to you <laughs> yo don't lie though my joke was like that the first time i did the interview with him i was like dang i feel stupid no nah, but it's like but it's like but it's not even and this, this is the thing it's like a lot of people will be like oh i need to put my instagram up there because i need the clout and i want people to follow True. me i want to put my instagram up there because i want to open the door to people like yo you guys ask me anything bro you got it if i got it it's yours all yeah. access it's all right. access if i got it it's yours if i don't i'm gonna I'm try my best to show you but then i ain't gonna do it for you no well because the, the other thing is to gain knowledge and keep it all for yourself is greed mm -hmm. that's what i say about church in in general i tell people all the time like if you if we haven't understood that church is just a bunker for us to gain all the information we need in order to survive in this this thing called life and go out here and testify and show people how to live in this thing even when you don't know how you're living every day we come in there it's a bunker and what you're supposed to do is, I've never been in the military, the army, but I know when they're at them camps, they're learning everything they need to do in order to fight on the outside when they're attacked. They're not they're not in the bunker. They're not there uh, learning in the camp to shoot each other. They're learning to battle and fight with one another and right. be light and be light in the midst of darkness in everywhere that we go. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to be light in the midst of darkness for everybody. And so when I see people at church and I'm just like, yeah, this is great, but this is light amongst light. This is this is a bunch of light amongst light. What are we yeah. doing when so I and, and one thing I've said on numerous um episodes is in order to be a light amongst darkness, you have to be in the darkness. And it's not necessarily you're in the darkness, like, oh, I'm just walking out here and I'm trying to conform. No. I'm I'm like my prayer every time before I hit the stage with any artist is God allows to be the light be the light in amongst this darkness because we already know the industry is dark it's it's dark. it's flame it's flame the flame in which burns for it is dark but I god you I still nobody yet i ain't gonna do it <laughs> but you he allows us to be light and that's where that's this is where our mission is our real mission is to be out here amongst the people but letting them know trey yeah you nah i don't smoke I don't have to smoke. I don't have to smoke to get in certain rooms and certain arenas for people to respect me. 
no cap. Not this, and and this, this is nothing against people who do smoke because you know what, God may need some people to smoke and and reach other people. It's okay. Because I ain't gonna lie, I just seen this today. Jamal Bryant, they, there's something about Jamal Bryant and him starting the cannabis in Atlanta. So, <laughs> LJ, if you have to move to Atlanta to go to uh to Jamal Bryant's church where they're gonna have a smoking section, you're more than welcome to do more so. Than welcome. He's grown. He's starting. He's starting a, a, a like a, a like basically a program. You know uh, what? I nigga, I got man. Bro. When you do this, when you get to this mode right here, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Cause I can't, <laughs> cause I can't talk about it. But nigga, like I will, I'll tell y'all some shit, bro. And it was like it was a conversation me and my pastor had. Cause he was like, my pastor is like he's grown. Like I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful that. I have a person like my pastor is like my pastor. He's my leader, but at the same time, that's my nigga. Like mm -hmm. my pastor, and he's like he's like up, upcoming as like the cool youthful pastor. But at the same time, it's like you know, there's some churches that we go play at. It's like this is me. I'm gonna look like this, and you know, I tried to put on some turquoise today because I heard. Hey, <laughs> hi, 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 dude. Here. He's tra he's yeah. transparent, and that's the other that's the other thing that I feel like is gonna stand out yeah. for us, even though we may not be pastors, is our transparency, yeah. but our transparency and the connection in which uh, it has to God. This is part, God. This seen. is my story. Rocket, and we it's got sure. we got special guest Rocket in the that. building. Yeah. Oh, give him that. Good job. And that's the other thing, man, is being is it, it, and this is another thing, bro, being transparent enough. This is a beautiful thing that I, I, I I'm glad that God has allowed me to do is even minister to the younger musicians about, hey, don't be out here doing nothing stupid. If, if you ain't married to him, be careful because you don't want these kids. It's nothing that we don't love these gifts that we have. But if you have one for that, but if you have one, honor your children. Use your children as motivation to get out there and do what you're doing. Don't be out there just, just, just scumbagging for yourself on selfish reason no more. Cause I ain't gonna lie, when I had mine, I don't know if I've ever told y'all this, but what I was making before I found out that my child was coming into the world, once my child came, my, my salary increased uh, double time based upon the fact that i couldn't even think in my mind that what i was making before was enough to 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 be okay for a, a younger life mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it literally brought up my it increased the way that i even had to navigate things and be like you know what if this if this few thousand dollars feeds me i need double that because if it can take care of me in my 30s it can definitely take care of this person but i don't want this person just taken care of i want to honor this person when i have to get i have to sacrifice time with them so that the time that i do handle out here i make intentional i make sure that i'm respectful and i'm making sure that whatever i'm doing that whenever i walk through a door and i appreciate somebody and i honor them whenever they see me and they finally if they may see my offspring they love my offspring the same way and that's the thing with god is we we his offspring but we out here looking real crazy not all of us but most not of us being out here looking real crazy but you you know what this is really deep right now and i'm laughing because i really do that <laughs> Trey just calling me that <laughs> nigga, this shit, nigga. damn it's like nigga, the chosen ain't being accountable. a lot of the chosen ain't being accountable nigga. absolutely that's, not that's literally it because absolutely i know I never forget my my music teacher. I didn't I didn't get it because I, until I was a real musician, nigga. But we're blessed to speak the only universal language that there is. We're we're blessed to speak the only universal language. Music is the only universal language, bro. Absolutely. And it's like, but the people that are, let's say, the chosen, a, a lot of the chosen community right now. Mm -hmm. are moving like they chosen and it's like you're not chosen to be just chosen you're chosen to help mm. you got a job you got a job and you're you chosen, chosen to get a job you're chosen to help it's like instead of like it's like only reason i'm as good as i am on keys is to teach somebody else only reason why i have a career 
and playing stadiums and shit is because I need to show somebody else how to do it. Got to tell them. And yeah. the reason why I had to go through the trenches and all of that and, and get it and see every avenue of rising to the, and it's not even the top, bro. It's like a rising to the occasion is so I could teach somebody else. Like, look, here, I'm gonna, let me help you. This is what I had to do, but I'm stepping in the gap for you so you don't have to do it like this. Correct, correct. I, 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 I'm, and, I'm, I'm, I'm going, yeah, I'm getting blown up and I'm getting shards of bullets ran through me in order for you to avoid getting shot and being able to duck here where where most people would tell you keep walking straight. And I, one thing that I love so much in mentoring these younger guys is when they get to a season that we've been through and you can tell them like, bro, let me tell you why not to give up. Because if I would have gave up where you were, I wouldn't be where I am today. If you look up to me, if you if you really think that I'm doing something that great, this moment in your life and season in your life is necessary for where it is you say you really want to go. I don't I don't know why. Like I said, it's really unfortunately social media that yeah. makes everything look so premature. Yeah. And it, it's not it's not even it's not even with just us as musicians. It's with us looking at ourselves and watching a, a TikToker become overnight um star. You know what I'm saying? Just based off of all those things. But it's like we have to be truth walkers and we have to be truth speakers. And that's what I that's what I always challenge myself to do. And I don't have to challenge you, LJ. I don't have to challenge you, Trey, because we all got stories that at the end of the day, we shouldn't even be here having this conversation. Trey, you should be <laughs> bullets tried to rid your body and take you out. A stroke tried that to take me. Crazy, bro. I remember when I saw that, I was like, no. Crazy, bro. That's bro. Shit. Like, we should we shouldn't be here. So the fact that we are. Sorry, what, are we, what 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 will we do I'm with still it? listening i'm just dealing with you little bro <laughs> got you it, but we we're here for a purpose beyond what we can even understand ourselves and now it's our it's time to activate everything that we're talking about and it's not to even say it's time to activate we've already activated now we just know god is just showing us our teammates yeah he's showing he's showing us like okay so this this person's gonna run this this is this is gonna be small forward this is gonna be uh point guard and all that type of stuff because one thing that i i enjoyed and i love this word just in general is just chosen yeah you can be chosen by a woman may not be that important you can be chosen by a, a job it may be important for a season but to be chosen by the creator knowing that his bench is not a mile long trey it's so long that we will never even understand where the end of the bench stops. Man. But we know that it can only be five players on the court at a time. And he chose you for this game. All we have to do is get in the game and, and make the play. And That's it's it. not necessarily make the play of, oh, I got to shoot the ball. Maybe yeah. your job is to scream. Maybe your job is to yell, ball. Maybe your job is literally to be a decoy just do the play because when we got on the team we automatically win we inherit winning for the rest of our lives right that's why depression don't depression may may be around me may come to the same club i'm in sometimes mentally but i ain't got to leave with it okay because i'm i i i i'm i got my jersey underneath un, underneath this jacket I'm already won. All I got to do is keep playing in the game. And when he calls my number, just do the play that he's he's drawn up and not try to take the shot. Yeah. I got we got to trust him with the last shot of our lives. Why? Because, Trey, if you look at his record, if we look at his record, he's undefeated. Undefeated, dog. <laughs> he's undefeated. Right, it's, it's a big fact. God is undefeated. All he wants you to do is, I just want you to trust me with the last shot of your life. If you trust me with that, don't try to take it yourself. Because many of us that, that get frustrated, agenda is because we're like, God, well, I've seen you take the shot so many times. I I, I, I know I know how you do it. I know how much you, you, you know, which how much you, you flick the wrist and all that type of stuff. And God is like, no, I understand that you've seen what I do. 
I did that on purpose so that you know that if you just keep doing the play and giving me the ball, no matter what the play is, we're going to win. But as soon as you try to jump in front of me, grab the pass and still shoot it yourself so that you can prove to me, God, that you can make it too. That's where you mess up. You lost it. You lost it. And so really, it's just God. I just want to be the screener. I just want to yell ball or I just want to it you might even make you might even allow me to be lucky enough to to give you an assist might be lucky enough to get you give you assist I've even said this to people like our opportunities that we get to travel the world and do what we love we're not it's not necessarily us going but God is allowing us to have the passenger seat of what he's purposed in our lives Mm. we just get to ride past we get to the we get to ride shotgun bro that's how good he is everything that we do he's already been there before us he just bringing us back to be like hey i hey check check out what i did for you like i try to move like a boss i don't my boss moves in my mind now is i'm not showing people what tours i'm going on no disrespect to anybody who does that clap you up you know all that type of stuff I'm not showing people that because we've lived in the day and age that everything got erased a whole two years worth of calendars and scheduling got erased. And what what did you have? Why did depression happen? Because we had an agenda of what we thought we was going to do and it got erased and then we got frustrated. That's real bro. now. But now it's like, God, your agenda. What I'll do is I'll post not when I'm going, but when I get there because to get there means that i'm that not only did i make it there but i was riding shotgun with you and that's where the biggest win is for everything in life that's good i'm laughing at me just being a dad on the interview this shit is funny (laughs) that's an example (laughs) it's cool but anyways we about to get off here because i done kept y'all long enough but i honestly feel like we got to come back and still have more conversations about them because there's so much to be said and what's great about god is he allows us to experience so many new things that there's so many more topics we can break down and talk about there's so many stories that we all have that people have yet to hear and um i say all that to say man i honor y'all and appreciate y'all so much man like y'all inspire me so much trey from head to toe bro like i told you on the phone last time i talked to you bro like you are the reason why a lot of cats look the way they do and won't say they look the way they do is because of you you've always been a trend center when it comes to how cool people are and how how people move and and learn how to play the background and wait they turns that's lj with no agenda that's lj like literally anybody that lj takes under his wing I swear on everything, they're the coolest cats in the world. I can't even lie about it. They 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 stoic. They don't, they're unmovable. They're not chilling. Like every time I go to LJ house, everybody is fucking chill. I can't even lie. Everybody just, what's up? What's up? I just like, yeah. you go to his house, it, se- it feels like a compound. You, over here. you gotta come over, bro. It's like, Trey, bro. that nigga's house is like a Boy, compound, bro. I'll be out there in January. Yeah, no, I'll pick you up from the airport. I live five minutes from the airport. <laughs> But I say all that to say, man, I love y'all. I thank y'all for y'all time, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for how you guys have poured into my life. I love you. And I love you too, LJ. Bro. And and it's rocking in the interview for me right now. It's (laughs) rocking. It's rocking. But what's crazy is, what's crazy is (laughs) he go he ain't gonna remember this time. But what we do after this moment in our lives and to know that he was a part of this circum this situation right now is gonna be crazy like that's that's what that's where it's at man so hey y'all this is levels to this podcast with trey way and lj and we love y'all we appreciate y'all we thank y'all for everything you know what i'm saying make sure that you check out these guys on instagram at the end of the day you didn't even see what i trey was laughing because i i I, I see that Follow these cats on Instagram. That's why I said it. <laughs> yeah. That Support. was smooth. No. It was super smooth. It was super smooth. 
No, Support. that was accountability though, because it's like we talking about the assignment. That was you what y'all did, man. See this, this, that shit. What you guys don't realize is <laughs> y'all niggas fucking held me accountable as a brother, explaining it to me. I'm hearing y'all stories, and it's like you know me. I don't want to be known like that, but it's just like you guys just inspired me. It's like go ahead, put your shit up there. Let them follow you. Absolutely, up. let them follow you. Let them follow you because you. You you you're you're good to act. Y'all can access any of us. We not we not bigger than the game. We just playing in it. Trey, I want y'all to go to this man's Instagram, listen to his music, get his clothing. It's not cheap. It's quality. Yeah. If you need, if you need a producer, if you need an MD, if you need just artist development, hit up LJ. If you need a security guard or a keyboard player with a gun. Hit up LJ. That's my boy right there. <laughs> At the end of the day, I love y'all. And this is the last thing. What's up? Holla at me. What's up? Who me? I don't know. I thought said I thought Trey said hey clue. But anyways, what I what I will say, what I will say is like, Rocky, what'd you say? <laughs> but no. I'm sorry, all of my listeners, but I'm not sorry because this is the greatest conversation. This is what this platform is for. It's conversation. It's us keeping it real. It's keeping it 100 because at the end of the day, we're going to have to die with that 100. And I'd rather die with it true, tried and true than the fake stuff. So if nobody told you that they loved you today, we love you. We appreciate you. We see you and we honor you. And we can't wait to see what you do with your life. Levels to this podcast signing out. We're going to see y'all. Peace.